Hello everyone, welcome to Icarus Proudbottom's World of Typing Weekly, Episode 1. This is the sequel to Icarus Proudbottom Teaches Typing, and as the weekly in the title suggests, there's going to be a new episode every week. And just like the previous game, it is totally free, so I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. Okay, let's delve in. I've been waiting for you. Yes, you, the player. Welcome back. But be warned. Something horrible has happened. Something terrible in this place is afoot. Oh ye gods. Make sure your seat has a firm and well-constructed edge. Because that's where you shall be for the duration of this tale. Here we go. So, before I can begin to investigate the crime, I need to know the story. The player is going to ask you some questions. Please answer as directly as possible. Before we start, do you have any questions, Jerry? No? I'm as ready as ever shall I be. <laughs> oh my god, look at the little outfit he's wearing. That is adorable. Whoa, what is that? Click to tweet this line of dialogue. What? Why would I want to tweet this line of dialogue? I, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, then let's begin. Please answer this question. Okay. In detail. I've already messed up. Good job. Okay, I quit. I'm done. <laughs> Please tell us everything thing that happened on the day of the incident. So much to tell. Where does one even start? Holy cow. It is a tale of mystery, of murder, and of typing. I suppose I shall start where all stories start. At the beginning. Hello there. Welcome to Icarus Proudbottom's World of Typing Weekly. I'm Icarus Proudbottom. I'm the main character. And this is my little sidekick, Jerry. Yes, I am the Alkin known as Jerry. Hmm, this seems familiar. Howdy. Jerry's an American Indian spirit animal. He's over 2,000 years old. 2,000 years. Think about that. This dude is old as hell. Thanks, Icarus. No problem, Jerry. We came to teach typing and chew bubblegum. And we're all out of typing. No, wait, gum. We're all out of gum. Uh, forget it. On a scale from 1 to 10, we both really love typing. But enough about us. Let's talk about you. Tell me a little bit about yourself. <laughs> so I'm not giving myself stats anymore. Choose a psychological profile. Okay. Survivor, war hero, or wild card. Hmm. Survivor. At a young age, your family was killed in a vicious typing accident, <laughs> summoning your inner strength. You spent your childhood mastering the art of typing so the same fate would never befall you. <laughs> war hero. Your acts of valor in the second typing war have earned you respect amongst your peers. Your typing skills come naturally and you feel little need to practice. Wild card. As a child, you suddenly developed an intense obsession uh, intense obsessive love of typing. You disconnected from your peers and family and spent your life in isolation, mastering the art of typing. I'm gonna go with Survivor. My family was killed in a vicious typing accident. I... I don't want to talk about it. Choose a glass. Hmm, soldier. When it comes time to type, you approach the keys head-on. Fearlessly, you strike each key with amazing force. Paladin. You take a holistic view of typing. You understand the inner meaning of key placement and approach typing with an open mindset bordering on mysticism. Berserker. You type with a take no prisoners approach. You jam your hands into the keyboard as fast as humanly possible. Typos be damned. Yep, that's me. <laughs> Choose a primary trait. Mm, strength. Your keystrokes can be heard from miles away. Your fingers are thick and meaty after years of hard typing training. Intelligence. You believe that fast typing comes from the mind, not the body. You've memorized the keyboard layout and have even studied foreign keyboards. Charisma. 
You've managed to impress your typing classmates with your charm and wit. When you are unable to type yourself, you can easily convince others to type for you. I'm gonna go with strength. I just jam those keys. Where were your parents from? United Earth Colonies. Your parents grew up in the smoldering, overheated ruins of Old Earth. Only through typing were they able to muster up the resources required to support the family. Space Station X220. Your parents were asteroid miners who spent their lives on various space stations. I think that should be plural. Space stations? Having never experienced gravity, their bones were frail, yet their typing was strong. Underwater Sanctuary. Ooh, that sounds cool. Your parents spent their lives in the underwater sanctuaries. High pressure, humidity, and octopus attacks molded them into quite severe individuals. Typing kept them sane. Yes. Generating your character now. Calculating ancestry. <laughs> Generating facial features. Finalizing calculations. What am I going to look like? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Oh my god. Wow, that's quite a backstory. You seem like a pretty cool guy. Or girl. Hmm. In retrospect, maybe we should have put gender on there. Do you want to play the tutorial? You should probably do it if you haven't played Icarus Proudbottom Teaches Typing. It takes around five minutes. No, no, no. There's no need. I believe the player is ready. Oh yeah, enough talk. Let's get to it. Let's start with this incredible paragraph. Ready? <clears throat> yes, I am. Welcome <clears throat> to Icarus Proud ba Proud Bottoms World of Typing Weekly. Tune in every week for an incredible typing adventure. Anything can happen in the world of typing. Typos be damned. Dear God, is it possible your typing prowess has grown since we last met? Anyways, we'll be right back after this loading screen. Who is it going to have a tip? Yes, fun I mean, fact. Fun typing fact. You can tweet any line of dialogue to the Twitterverse or whatever by clicking it with your mouse. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Ah, nice and loaded. Let's continue. Most odd... Someone is at the door? At the door? Who the heck could that be? Ah, well. Probably just one of our many fans. Let's let him in. Holy craps. Holy craps. It's my cousin Apollo! Um, what the heck are you doing here? Freaking cousin Icarus! To see you now! Wow! What a feeling! My emotions now are like, whoa! How long has it been, man? Is there somewhere we can talk? Catch up a little? Is that a freaking owl? I'm an ancient American Indian spirit animal. Anyways, why don't you two catch up in the storage room? I can take over the teaching for a while. Thanks, Jerry. If you need me, you know where to find me. Hey, the body's gone. <laughs> there used to be a body down here. Icarus, my main man, my dude. How has life been? Pretty great, Apollo. Let me show you why. <gasps> it's this, Apollo. It's all about this. My license to type. Look at my face there. <laughs> Look at the pride. The happiness. This card represents the culmination of my life's accomplishments, Apollo. Wow. L listen to me prattle on about myself. What a selfish butthole moron doofus I am. Apollo, what's new with you? Well, let me tell you. So, Apollo and Icarus went to talk, alone, in the storage room. Interesting. How long before the incident was this? 
Not long. Maybe ten minutes. Interesting. Everything happens so quickly. One more question. Player? Did anything strike you as suspicious at the time? No. At the time, everything seemed normal. There's no sign of the events to come. Anyways, allow me to tell you what happened next. So, Icarus and his cousin Apollo are chatting in the side room. While we wait for Icarus to return, shall we type? Of course! Oh my, that's long. Some typing advice from yours truly. Okay. So what's the advice? When typing, don't just use your primary feathers. <laughs> primary feathers, okay. Try using your secondary feathers as well. Resist the urge to peck the keys with your beak, as this can damage a keyboard. Grip your chair firmly with your talons. Should you need to cough up a pellet, turn your head to 170 degrees before doing so. Well, thank you for the advice. I will keep that in mind. A job most incredible. Again? What the heck? Weird. We'd never get guests in this place. I guess I'll get it. Gods. I'm a spirit animal. Not a freaking butler. I don't even earn a salary. Hi, I'm looking for Icarus Proudbottom. Is he here? Holy crap, an ancient American Indian spirit animal. Hi, I'm Jerry. Icarus is in the side room, talking with his cousin Apollo. Shall I retrieve him for thee? Sure, if you don't mind. It's kind of important that I speak to him now. Okay, hold up for just a second. I'll grab him. This will seem a strange request, but... Do you think you can teach typing while I'm gone? Typing? Did you say typing? I actually know a lot about typing. In fact, you could say that typing is kind of my life. I'm one of the top members of the ITC, International Typing Council. Wow, we have an RTP, Real Typing Professional, here. I'll be back in a minute. Well, looks like I'm the teacher for now. I assume Icarus and Jerry have taught you the fundamentals? No? <laughs> well, I suppose that's just like Icarus. Anyways, let's start with hand position. What the hell? I know what you're thinking. Wow, what is that jumbled garbage? Yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking. What the hell? SDF... JKLSDF... Oh, okay. Oh, I s Yeah. That's the proper hand positioning, sort of. Not sort of, I think. Pretty sure that is. By the way, just a note, I actually never learned to type properly. I don't anchor my hands to the, like, the little... The F and the J, which I'm pretty sure is where you're supposed to anchor them. I just learned on my own. I just typed. So the way I type on the keyboard is actually very strange, and not very efficient. So this could actually be difficult for me. Relax. It's easy if you use a little PHP. Proper hand position. So get your hands into position now. Place your left index finger on F and your right one on J. With your hands in the right position, this should only take a few seconds. This actually is kind of weird. That felt really weird. I don't normally have my hands there. Not bad. Let's do one more, and expand on it. What? Oh my god, this is actually going to be difficult. You'll need to jump up and down keyboard rows for this one. Oh, so S, D, F, J, K, L... Okay, yeah, that's not too hard. 
I think. I oh, oh wait, wait wait wait. Oh god, that's weird. For my right hand, I'm not only going up, I'm going to the right. That is weird. Okay. <clears throat> what if I wonder if I did this without having my hands in the right position? How that would be. Okay, that wasn't too bad. But I wonder if I tried to write that without having my hands in the proper position, how it would be. Hmm. With your hands resting in this position, all keys are within easy reach. Hey, Jerry said that we had another guest. Lucida? Icarus. Can you spare a moment? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, Jerry, Apollo, uh, mind waiting out here for a second? Again with the closet. <sighs> Go, cousin. The owl and I will hang out here. They should just take a minute. This way, Lucida. Don't tell me. Already? Yes. Already. This soon. Wow. That probably means that the news can't be good. Well, that's why I'm here, Icarus. To break the news. What happened was... So, the second guest arrived shortly after the first. Interesting. Hmm. Yes, an unusual occurrence in this place. So this all happened just minutes before the incident. Player, a question for Jerry. Had you... I've already messed up. Have you met this woman before? Or rather, had you met this woman before? No. Although it turns out Icarus knew her well. Allow me to complete the story. Hmm. Icarus seems surprised to see her. I wonder what that's about. Does this happen a lot? Lots of lady visitors? Lots of, uh, demand for Icarus's time? If so, wow. I've got to quit my job and become a typing teacher. No. Nothing like this has happened before. A woman has never seeked out Icarus's attention before. Ever. Anyways, the typing. We have to teach the typing. Guess what time it is. Uh, exam. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> okay. Holy moly, looks intense. Let's test your speed. What the- oh no. Looks like random nonsense. No, yes it does. What? Q-A-Z? Oh. W-S- E D. Oh no, I see what's going on. T G okay U G A M. What happens at I? I K O L P. Okay, I see what's going on. Yeah, I'm looking at my keyboard. Doing columns down. Okay, could be fast or I might be really really slow at this. We'll see what happens. Ha! Fooled you. Owned. It's not random at all. The key to winning is to understanding the pattern. Oh, I see the pattern. Also, since this is an exam, you're timed. Yay! Okay, let's go. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry. Oh, fuck. Uh, EDC? Yeah. Ooh, period. Boom. Honestly, I barely looked up at the screen. Ah, I see. The player had to go from left to right, up or down, or whatever. Yes, that's a perfect description of what I did, Apollo. Had to go from left to right, up to down, or whatever. Neat. I, I guess. So that's how you teach typing? Okay. I'm back. Where's Icarus? Still in the back room. He said he'd be out in a second. 
Huh. Weird. He's usually not one to miss out on typing. Something doesn't feel right here. Hey, what the H was that? Uh, not sure. Let's check on Icarus. He's still in the back room. Ugh, gross. It's pitch black in here. Hold up. I'll get the light. Oig! Oh, ye gods! Icarus Proudbottom is dead! My cousin! Holy craps! What the... who the... why the... how the... How or why this has come to pass is unknown. But one thing seems certain. Hold on. I want to change my outfit before I deliver this next line. Okay. I'm ready to deliver my line now. The killer... is someone in this room. So that's how it happened. And then I was summoned, shortly thereafter, to investigate the crime. So, are you telling me everything? Have you missed any details? No, that is the full story. Okay, Jerry. Thank you for your cooperation. I think that's good for our first session. Before we go, let me ask one more question. I'll be blunt. Did you kill Icarus Proudbottom? Lol. No. But I know not what I can do to prove my innocence to you at this time. However, I suspect that with time and effort and typing, the mystery may be solved. You're absolutely correct, my feathered friend. Okay. You can go now. Okay. I shall peace out now. Peace. Okay then. That didn't go so badly. Now, before I forget any of the details, let me jot down some notes. Let's type it out together. Okay. So, Icarus Proudbottom. I always mess up that D. Icarus Proudbottom case, day one. Who killed Icarus Proudbottom? Was it Jerry? The American Indian spirit animal? Apollo. Icarus's cousin. Lucida? The mysterious, uh, oh god, that's a hard word, acquaintance? Or is the answer something else entirely? I gotta say, despite all the unknowns, I'm feeling optimistic. In fact, I'll make a prediction right now. Together, player. We will crack this case. Yes, it is true. Icarus Proudbottom is dead. This may be the most tragic event in typing history. Which is really saying something since, as we all know, typing history is rife with tragedies. Who killed Icarus Proudbottom? The investigation begins in next week's episode. Oh, the background and the music. This end credits is so cool. Apologies to David Lynch, Mark Frost, and Angelo... Blue, however you pronounce that. Let's see if anything happens after the credits. Anything?
Do I have to click? Anything? No, that seems to be it. I'm kind of worried that something's gonna like pull apart the curtains and jump out of my face. Anyway, that was really, really good. I really enjoyed that. It continues its legacy of being in, of being really clever and funny. And just fun to play, too. I have a... I have an idea. What if Icarus Proudbottom is staging his own death? To get out of something. Because it seemed like something bad had happened. Maybe he was in trouble. And he wanted to appear dead so he can get out of trouble. I wonder. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next episode.